And for those who want a moon swatch, this will ensure you getting one in due time. Thank you. Now, about the moon phase complication. What's up people, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be chatting about the Omega Swatch Snoopy collection. I can't believe I'm talking about it again. Anyway, we will be talking about the not so obvious difference between the white and the black, and how does the moon phase complication work. I still can't believe I've got to talk about the moon swatch again so soon. A week ago, Swatch launched what appeared to be their final Moon Swatch collection. This obviously turned out to be a decoy. Anyway, if you've missed my video on that white Snoopy, I'll put a link in the description below. I dare you to check it out. A couple of days later, Swatch dropped this teaser. If you follow my Instagram page, you will see that I've called it, so did a couple of people, that Swatch was gonna release a black Snoopy soon. And indeed they did. The first thing you need to know about the timely release of both these Snoopy watches is that the white was intended to be released on a full moon. I mean, poetically, they wanted you to start queuing on a full moon. What do you want? You, you want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around and pull it down. The black is now intended to be released on the 8th of April, which is a solar eclipse visible across North America. Hence, the full on black theme. Apart from the color change, it is practically the same watch as the white Snoopy. All indices and printing are now in white instead of black. The other differences is the moon phase at the 2 o'clock position, where the mask is now placed vertically instead of horizontally. The vertical design also changed the layout of the hidden coat. The cool thing about the black is that the mask is now translucent. Hence, even if it's a new moon, the moon and Snoopy is still visible behind the mask. Whilst this design may be pretty cool to be viewed at night, it is not that pleasing during the day. You can even view the golden ring in between the disc. The other difference between the black and the white is that the stars on the black watch are pretty visible even when it's not loom, whereas the white has a cleaner outlook, which I prefer. The loom material on the black watch is now in black which also has a rougher surface. In the dark, its loom is not as good as the ones in the white. The white outline on the indices on the black watch are also thicker compared to the ones in the white watch, thereby giving the white watch a bigger real estate on the loom. Last but not least, the Cartoon Moon battery cover on the white has a black outline on it, whereas the black doesn't have an outline over it. Then there is also a missing stroke on the 3 o'clock position of the cover. If you have enjoyed this video so far, please like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to support the channel as it will help me to carry on to make more videos like this. And for those who want a moon swatch, this will ensure you getting one in due time. Thank you. Now, about the moon phase complication. Many have asked how does that work and what does the indication around it means. First of all, the numeral indicators there are not dates. The shape of the moon changes throughout one lunar cycle as the moon orbits the earth and as the earth orbits the sun. One lunar cycle is equivalent to approximately 29 and a half days, hence this. Even if you have set the moon phase accurately, it doesn't mean that it will remain accurate forever. That's because the lunar month is actually 29 days, 12 hours and 44 minutes. However, the gear underneath the moon phase only has 59 tooth view. Hence, the 0.03058885 days difference is left unaccounted for and will eventually go out of sync within a span of 3 years. If you want to make sure that your moon adjustment is accurate, simply verify it with Swatch's website or Google Moon Face today and you get your answer. Personally, between the black and the white, I prefer the white Snoopy. It stands out and it's different from the other moon swatch. The black on the other hand is just too common. I know it's loud and it's just a plastic watch, but hey, it's a fun watch, so don't take things too serious. Personally, I think it's a brilliant move for Swatch and Omega to collaborate. This is not about making a watch, it's about creating a brand awareness and creating a movement, which I believe they did. 
Anyway, that's just my humble opinion. Until the next one, thank you for watching.